You may remember some insane police dash cam video I showed you a while back that comes from the Deland Police Department in Florida. The original video will be linked in a pinned comment and in the description. This was the most reckless, careless, and dangerous display of emergency response driving I'd ever seen. It included blasting through active school zones, red lights, four-way stops. He barely escapes crashing with an 18-wheeler before committing a hit and run. He then later lied about the hit and run, and although he had fresh damage on his police car, he said he didn't crash into the parked car whose owner was calling, telling police that a police car crashed into his parked car and left the scene. Definitely see the original video for all of the details on this crazy scenario, but it also resulted in the department apparently trying to cover it up by hiding the existence of this video. Even telling the Florida Highway Patrol who did the crash or the hit and run report when it was determined that this cop did indeed commit the hit and run, that there was no video of the incident. There was a problem with a wire on the dash cam, so darn it, it didn't record. People from within that department were contacting me, insisting I try to get the video because they said it does in fact exist and they're trying to hide it. And it took months to get it, but I eventually did get it. Ironically, however, I received the video about six months after the incident and the officer, Chris Renda, had received a written reprimand for the incident for the hit and run shortly after the incident. But at the exact same time they released the video to me, knowing that the public would see that video, they fired the officer. They fired him for the same incident for which he had already been written up. Now, after very slowly receiving public records that have been requested from this department for months, we have yet another disappointing update. And honestly, it's exactly what I would expect from the administration at this department from what they've displayed over the past year. What they've done aligns with the true meaning of the thin blue line. A short time after I published the original video, I spoke with Captain Dice of the Delam Police Department. I told him that this was the worst display of emergency driving I'd ever seen, and he agreed. He confirmed that this was the reason that Officer Renda was terminated from the department, and that he had been previously disciplined, and that it wasn't his first at-fault crash. Keep these things in mind and listen to what Captain Dice has to say so that it'll make more sense to you when you hear what the department did afterwards, which in my opinion is yet again the wrong thing. About it, it's also in his reprimand, Renda's reprimand for it. It says that there was no video. They uh, were, FHP was told there was no video. Yeah, I and, don't uh, have anything to do with that. Because I imagine he would have been charged with something had they seen that video. That was that video was pretty bad. Um, you know, yeah, you saw it, right? Reckless through the stop signs, through the red lights, mm -hmm. through the school zone, and stuff like that. Yep. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised he lasted six months after that. You know, I, I, he was on probation too, and I would imagine after seeing that, especially at, after already having an at fault crash. I would imagine that'd be it. Like, you're out of here. But the official word was there was no video. Good thing is, uh, you know, he's out of here. It, it released was, him because the, 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 the driving was terrible. The driving was terrible. You guys saw that video. You saw that driving. But then, and you say he was let go because his driving was terrible. But he was allowed to drive for six more months like that before he was let go. I don't know what to tell you, bro. It just seems to me, man, you know how it looks. They're, they're just, you know, time and time again, there seems to be a lot of coincidence coming out of this department. You know what I mean? A lot of, co I can tell you is, a lot of coincidental things. The only thing I can tell you is his driving was terrible. That wasn't his first time, and he was let go. Yeah, it, it so. wasn't his first time. It was, that's probably the worst display of emergency response driving I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree with you. And, yeah. But... He also, he had initially only received a written reprimand because they said there was no, no video. I, I can't answer to that. Yeah. I wasn't involved in that process. But I can tell you that when the chief um, got a chance to re review that, the chief made a decision to, to terminate his employment. When the, chief, when the chief saw the video? Is that what it? When he got a chance to re re review that, he made a decision that he would need to determine, uh, re uh, terminate his employment, which I... I support his decision. I, I think everybody supports that decision. But I, my, my only issue is, and just looking at it logically, 
it, it, it seems, it appears that the decision was made not because that video exists, but because people are going, are about to see that video. No, it was, it was made because he violated policy. Right, but and it, the chief it, saw that video and the chief made a decision that he no longer needed to work here. Yeah, yeah, he did violate policy. He got, he got a rip, written reprimand for it, but yeah. but then when the video came out, he was terminated for it. So he kind of got, kind of got double discipline for it in that case, right? It's just, I'm just saying, you know, regardless of anything, the timing of the two are, I are super odd. I mean, but what, 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 I get it, I understand that, but the, the thing that we all can agree with is the video was terrible. He don't need to, the employee had to be released because of it, and we did the right thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, I agree, as a, he had to be let go. I'm st I mean, we just have so many issues out of this department, man, and I, and I, I don't make things up. Well, well, Everything ain't perfect. Everything no, ain't nothing's perfect. not perfect, but we strive every day to be better. So I uh, think we got a pretty good department. I mean, that's good a good thing. You have some good here. people in here, but we definitely have some good people. That but work but damn, man, the things that I keep seeing, I, I don't make it up, and I just see what's real, you know. And, and you understand, I, I I would think. Well, I I mean, from comments you made before, I don't. I think you understand, but you don't portray it. That I don't come out here to start problems or. I'm striving for what's right and what's best, right? And even for members of this department, who if they if if they didn't agree, they wouldn't reach out to me asking me to, you know, hey, look into this, look into that. Um, so you heard Captain Dice agree that that was the worst example of emergency driving he had seen as well. He said, thankfully, that cop's no longer employed here. He confirmed that the officer was terminated due to the incident and because he violated department policy. So he got the written reprimand and was terminated for violating department policy. This is an important point. Now you can see the entire thing in the original video is linked, but we went on about the fact that uh, the officer got a written reprimand for it immediately after the incident, but was then fired for the same thing six months later at the exact same time that the public was going to see the video. You can draw your own conclusions on that. But anytime any officer separates any law enforcement agency within Florida for any reason, they retire, they quit, they're fired. The agency is required to submit an affidavit of separation to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, which is the agency that holds and maintains certificates for police officers, commonly referred to as a Form 61. These forms are important because they would be used to determine, for example, if an officer should still be allowed to keep their certificate. It will be used by future departments where they might apply to see if the applicant may be may or may not be a good candidate to be hired as a police officer for any prospective agency so it's very important for the safety and the well-being of the public that these are filled out truthfully honestly and accurately you can see there's a lot of boxes they could check things like this is a voluntary separation not inv involving misconduct retired suspension failure to complete their uh, their training then in the middle there's a unfavorable section one of those says, terminated for violation of agency or training school policy, not involving a moral, a moral character violation. And there's several others there. You can check them all out. And I'd like to see from you in the comments, which one do you think this agency should have checked? I think it was the last one that I just read. But this is the Form 61 for former officer Renda, completed by Chief of Police Jason Umberger. You can see what he selected there in the middle section at the top, 7C, failure to satisfactorily complete the agency field training program. You can have a look at this form for yourself to see if you see anything else checked that maybe I missed, any indication that he violated department policies. As we just heard, a captain with the Deland Police Department say he was terminated for violating those policies. But luckily for him, he was still in his one year probationary period. So they did him a solid. They're not letting the state know the truth. So with that in mind, think about what we talked about, about the fact that he received a written reprimand initially. And I fought for a long time to get this video that they said didn't exist. While mem members of that department insisted that it, did, it does exist and it's bad and the people have to see it. Six months after the incident, Six months after his written reprimand, I received the video. Administration of this department knows that since I got the video, the public is going to see the video. And only then did they let him go. 
That leads me to believe they had no intention of doing that. And they only did it because the public, the people, were going to see this horrendous video that even they agree is horrendous. And if they truly cared about public safety and the well-being of everyone else, after confirming for themselves that that was just reckless and dangerous, and he not long before that had another at-fault crash, why did they allow him to continue doing it for another six months until the video reached the people? So the state and any other agency he may apply to, because of this Form 61, will see that he didn't complete his training. That could be anything. Maybe he wasn't a great shot. Maybe he had issues with report writing. Anything. But it definitely won't tell them that he's proven himself to be an absolute danger to the public. These Form 61s are misused all the time. Oftentimes something will happen and the officer will be allowed to resign instead of being fired like they should be. And then this form just says, oh, voluntary separation, no misconduct. When in reality, oftentimes, if these forms were properly filled out, a lot of these people wouldn't be employable. Many of them would lose their certificates. But this is that blue line in action. In this case, I feel like they were like, hey, we tried, man, but this is bad and the people are going to see it. I'm sorry, but we'll still help you out with being able to do this somewhere else. Oftentimes, things only happen if the people find out about it. And these public agencies aren't going to tell the public what's going on, which is why it's so important that the public look into it to see what's going on. Dig. This is why many administration types, tyrants, and bad cops despise people who do what I'm doing, seeking accountability and transparency from public figures, public agencies, public servants. You'll see there be a bootlicker or two here and there. They'll say, stop whining. If you call the police, you want them driving like that to you too. No, absolutely false. Even his own department said there's no excuse for that. How much help really is the help if they're harming others on the, uh, along the way to help? You know what I mean? And if you missed the, the original video, he responded to another officer chasing someone on foot. He was far away and many other cops got there long before him. As he was still recklessly driving and before the hit and run, Many other cops were already there on scene. So no matter what excuse someone tries to make, there isn't one. So go into the comments, let me know what you make of this. You think it's yet another shady move by the administration of a department who's already demonstrated many, many shady things? Or maybe it's just all coincidence, huh? Make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications. Check out those previous videos if you haven't already. Check out some, some of the other videos that are up there. And stay tuned for much more to come.